Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, create a new, basically a blank course, uh, and this is using the NBGrader interface. So when you request a course from ITS to have a JupyterHub server, it automatically grants access only to those students who are synced up uh, with SIS. So if they appear as officially a student within the SIS uh, system, then they'll be able to log on to your class's JupyterHub server. Um, and so at this point, you know, every student in my class could go to this uh, VMware website, open Phys 225, and that's the only one they'd have access to. Uh, what NBGrader lets you do as an instructor is to exchange assignments very quickly to uh, between the instructor and the student. And so you can create an assignment, send it out, you can collect it back from students, you can grade it and create feedback, and then send the feedback back to them, which then they can collect collect your feedback. Uh, and so, um, you know, it, it really is, NBGrader is an add-on to the Jupyter Hub, but it lets you go back and forth. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. Uh, the unique things that NBGrader gives you are these three tabs up here uh, on um, in this interface. So form grader, uh, right now it doesn't really show anything. Um, it says the course ID has not been set. Uh, and so there's some, some missing configuration stuff, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, likewise, there are no assignments to fetch, uh, and um, there's no courses that are set up right now. So, um, so the way we do this is first under File. So we're getting started. We're creating a brand new course. Uh, we create a terminal, and the terminal is going to be a Linux prompt. You can look to see what your current directory is, and you can see it's just slash home slash bmzsps in my case for my username. Uh, every single student who has access to this server will have their own home directory, and that's where all their work is going to be stored. But when you exchange files between you and the students, there's a separate directory uh, called the exchange directory, and that's kind of the shared place where um, I can, you know, where we each can kind of either collect or submit assignments um, to exchange them back and forth. Uh, so, all right, so there's one command you need to run, and that is the, uh, all these commands are going to start with the word nbgrader, because it's going to use the nbgrader package. And in this case, it's the quick start command, which is going to create the base directory structure and a couple configuration files. And we need to supply a course ID, in my case, that's going to be phys 225. All right, so if we uh, just scroll through everything um, in this little menu here, uh, we can say, you know, no nbgrader uh, config file was found. So it created this new directory, phys 225, and it copied some example files. It actually copied a copy of the nbgrader config file, um, and uh, yeah, and so now if we go back to our files here, we now see the phys225 directory. It's actually been pre-populated with an, an assignment, um, an example assignment. Uh, if we go over to form grader, initially we don't actually see that assignment yet. So uh, the course ID has not been set up in nbgrader config.py. Uh, so what we need to do is um, a couple of things. So first we can try uh, just seeing what happens if we use some of the admin functions and restart the server. There are a couple times where, it, where it's useful to restart the server. Uh, so I stopped the server, I restarted. And um, let's take a look at form grader. Uh, still not still not setting up uh, correctly. So within that phys 225 directory, there is an nbgrader config.py file. So if you click on that, you get this editable Python file. It's a very long file. And uh, there is one particular line I found that we need to fix, uh, and it just helps NB greater point in the right direction. Uh, and so that is this course directory dot root. Uh, and so we uncomment that line and we specifically put in the home directory for the course. So since I'm the instructor, I have the the uh, kind of the the full 
copy of all the course materials that get stored in my directory, and that's this fizz um, 225 directory that was just created. So uh, we can save that and um, go back and see, did that help form grader yet? Uh, still says course ID is not, um, not set yet, so I'm going to go back over to the control panel and I am going to stop my server and start my server again and see if that fixed it. All right, so uh, now if I go to form grader, and let me just zoom, uh, change my zoom a little bit. I guess I was zoomed in a little too high. Yeah, I, I'm still not showing it. Uh, I think the the last thing um, that needs to be done in this case uh, is actually making a copy of the file, uh, the config file, and just putting it in the home directory. So. We won't ever have to touch this nbgrader config.py file again, but we will uh, do one small modification to it right now. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. And let me create a new terminal. All right, and I'm going to change my directory to my course directory. And I'm going to copy nbgrader.config.py um, up one directory. So I'm going to try to copy it to the to one directory below. So I'm going to do that. And now if I look at a list of all files, I see I actually created a copy of that now updated nbgrader config file. Um, so after I've done that, let me restart the control panel one more time. Let me get rid of the old form graders that were there. And now if I go to form grader, all right, so now it actually, um, NB grader is able to see the preloaded assignment that comes when you run quick start. And so, uh, that assignment. Uh, so next I'll show you what's the functionality you can do with an assignment. So uh, um, that'll be the next video.